How you doing guys and welcome, it is Kraken here and we're back on day number 30 of Darkness Falls. So, a bit of a shorter episode yesterday, but that's because we had the horde the day before. But today we've actually got some more stuff to be getting on with. So we're actually going to go and do that job for Razor, which was this one here, clearing out the outpost. And that is on the way back up to him. So we're going to go, where is it? This one here, it looked like it was an insurance company. It was three stories high, looked quite big. Now we need to actually make ourselves some more repair kits. So I'm going to quickly get that started. I know we need oil for that. And then we're going to make our way back up in that direction. So let's get cracking. Good morning, you glowing bastard. Right, get ourselves some water. And we'll get on with the day. Lumberjack, how are you doing? Uh, it looks like we've got a little bit of a wandering horde going on here. Decided we're going to do a couple of quests on the way up to doing the big quests, because that's two kilometres away. So we've got to nurse you back to health. Now, the scouts have already sent me to Razors and I'm hoping that Razor is then going to send me to Eve. So is there any reason to doing any more quests for the scouts? Right well that's that one done. There's a tier two to do on the way for this gen here so let's go and just get that one out of the way because we've got so many quests on our on our list it's getting a little bit silly so let's just get a few of these off the list and done we'll probably do that other treasure map on the way home but at least today we're starting nice and early let's do some killing paper and sand right we'll quickly do the car here there we go nice radiator that'll get us some brass not that we need more brass right Get it started. Oh, we can't loot you again. Good job we did it the first time. And it looks like that the supplies are up there. Whoa! Wakey, wakey! Right, well, that's all you guys out. Right, now we have got a flapping turkey in front of us, but he's stuck inside the building. This could be fun. Got rid of him, but it did wake up the whole house at the same time. Use the door to help us. Oh, I do love these doors now, for 21. Even though they're easy to break out like that, they are just a good little barrier. Nicely done. Anything in you for me? Oh. Right. Crowbar time. Well, that was a waste of time. Hmm. There we go, found the satchel, nice and simple, some stuff there to sell as well. Right, let's go downstairs, we may as well grab the final loot as we are here. Any more for any more, hoodie boy. Okay, some more stuff to sell. How you doing, Mo? Nice and simple. Right, quickly loot the kitchen. Fighting in a basement. You know, fighting in a basement offers a lot of difficulties. Number one being, you're fighting in a basement. Oh, you bugger. You're behind me. Right, juggle all the zombies we got to kill. Yeah, you're done. You done any more for any more? No, right. What do we got here then? Some more shotgun cells. I did change over to the better axe that we found yesterday, the steel axe. So I've got that. 
44 schematic. Right, we'll read that. We've got a steel club there. We'll sell you. Uh, chainsaw schematic. So we'll scrap you. Some more stuff there to sell. Scrap you. And we'll take you. What have we got here then? Duct tape. We will just run out of duct tape. Some lock picks there. We might have to start actually using some lock picks because apparently it does affect the loot. Not that I really want to be using them, but I don't really want to be opening gun safes that have got bugger all in them. There we go. Open up the front door for us. Check the mailbox. And we can head this or hand this back in on the way home. Don't need to do it now, we need to get off and do that other POI. Right, back here again. Yeah, parachute insurance. Let's clear out the locals. Oh, another treasure map. Can I read that one? I'll actually read that when I get home, because I don't really want to have to run too far away just to do a quick treasure map. Right, let's put some stuff away. Yeah, fuel you up. Put some stuff away onto our bikes. Fantastic. And we've got to clear the outpost. Right, I've got no idea what level this POI is going to be. Close that up. is probably the next place we are going. Right, uh, nice schematic there. We can scrap an athletics notes. There we go, we can read that one up. Right, nice and simple, sorting you out. This did look like quite a big POI, so it's going to take a little while to get through here. Nicely done, Cracker, nicely done. Right, not really fussed about them. Right, check out the canteen. Right, another schematic here that we can scrap. We eat the corn meal as we're here. Right, fantastic. A couple of vending machines here. I don't think there's anything really that we need at the moment. Well, that one I could loot. I've never checked that before. So we've just got all of that for free. Oh. Normally I don't even bother running over to them. I'm going to have to um, pay closer attention to that. Never say no to some free stuff. Right, so we're back up on the ground level now. There we go, check the filing cabinets and we've got more Things we might actually be able to um might actually be able to do another class tonight. We're gonna to be pretty damn close to it. Ooh, a level 44 pistol. Okay. And we will sell you. Lovely. And another scrap one of those. Yes, we've got 10 on us now. I reckon we will definitely have the 120. Right. Up through the rope here. More lockpicks, okay. If we have a safe at the end, oh, we've actually got a box there, so we'll actually try the lockpicks on that box. Nigel, how are you doing? So what we got here, automatic weapons, very nice. As we are using an automatic weapon at the moment. Nice. 
Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, a steel pickaxe. Okay, we'll have a look at that in two seconds. A mining book there. I do keep the pickaxe on me because I don't. you don't need to use the auger for everything. So, right, okay, so we're going to scrap you, read you, and scrap you. So you're doing 23.2, and you're doing 13. Block damage 42, block damage 73. Well, it's, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? So we've only actually got one mod in you anyway. So we can just sell you one, modify you. There we go. Lovely jubbly. That was the one thing I didn't actually check. Um, we've actually got five points available. Increased stamina regeneration by 30%. Right, well, there's one of the points done. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. That was fixed. So the death mill is back. Oh, that's pissed me right off, that has. Right, well, we can use you. And we use you. Baked beans, zero food poisoning. Okay, we'll have to eat the baked beans. And we do actually have two honey here, which give us eight food. So let's just quickly eat those two up. Bloody hell, Kane. Have to have a word with you. Right, another schematic there to scrap and it has just opened that elevator without me touching it so we'll just see if there's anything else up here no doesn't look like it and that's got a red light on it red lights normally are a little bit dodgy let's go to the top just have a quick little look no and we're going down. Make sure you're loaded. Yeah, you're loaded. Nicely done, nicely done. Still bloody hungry though. Oh, hello. That was interesting. Right, this is what they wanted clearing out. Right, we've got one spitter in the back. And that's how we saw our spitters. Was it one zombie left? see a red dot. Where are you? You always so stuck somewhere, love? Oh, there you are, you cheeky sod. Interesting. Right, it sounds like we might have a wandering horde as well, so I'm just going to quickly loot all this up. And we'll get to that final loot in a second. We've already seen the final loot. The final loot was actually in a room that was covered, so... But we have actually cleared it. Oh yeah, it was this room. We were behind there. Right, okay, I'll just quickly check everything else. Right, I've got all these boxes opened up, apart from this one here. So let's give this thing a little go then. Well, that was a complete waste of my time, but we did get a lot more stuff from it, and we've actually got a compound crossbow. Okay, right, right, we can scrap you loads of stuff here, we can take them apart, um, and a lot more lot picks. Okay, well, you do seem to get more loot from that, and we will use that. Okay, what else have we got here? Some health stuff there, more health stuff there. 
More health stuff there. Oh, look at that. Robotic Sledge. We were talking about that the other day, actually, about using that. Uh, we can scrap you now. About using that on our horde base, because we did have one at the other base. But that saves me having to go back there now. Right, there we go. We are stupidly encumbered. Oh, hello. Right, let's get out of here. We've wasted far too much time in here. Oh, found another box. Fantastic. Ooh, that's actually better than the stun baton we've got. Fantastic, so we can actually put those stun batons back together. And job will be a good one. Loot bags absolutely everywhere. Grain alcohol. I'm safer walking than using the bike, but we are stupidly encumbered. We've got ourselves a lot of loot. There we go. So, in fact, where is the next trader? Right, we've got a trader Bob on the way. I think we'll go to a trader Bob and get rid of a load of stuff before we go to Razor, since we can't sell the miserable bastard anything. Trader Bob, how are you doing? Loza? Oh, sweet as another skill point. We might actually look at that properly when we get in here. Right, let's um We can't actually take all of you. Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Here's your pay. Right, this is a bit of a dilemma because I've got a pump shotgun here which is one level above the one that I've already got. You've actually got steel crossbow bolts, and I have just got the compound cross, uh, the compound bow, which is actually meant to be better than the iron crossbow, but I prefer using the crossbow, so I might actually access 87 bolts of steel. I'm going to go for them, to be honest. Right, I've got a load of stuff to sell you. Right, well, that's, I think that's about everything, though I still do have a lot of crap on me. But that is everything. Right, have you got any food you can sell me? Because I'm proper hungry. Right, you've got some trail mix. I'll buy that. And nothing else. That gives me food poisoning, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we have bugger all there then for me. Might as well buy some gunpowder. Buy the oil shell. There we go. Fantastic. And you've got cement. And you've got cobblestone. Fantastic. Right. Peace to you, buddy, as well. Eat that one. And do you have anything in your vending machine? Right. Baked beans. You don't give me food poisonings. So we'll buy them. Uh, beef. You don't. There we go. Fantastic. Right. That should sort out the food a little bit. Alright, Lumberjack, how are you doing? Right. Razor, you're a pain in the arse to get to. Right, can I loot you? No, I've actually got to pay for you. That's not that's not too fun. Gonna have to keep an eye on that in POIs so that you can actually loot some of these vending machines. <coughs> What do you mean, how can I help you? I just finished your bloody quest. Clear the outpost. Introducing me to Eve. Right, do you have any more jobs? No. Right, okay, fine. Eve, where are you? Show me on the map. Okay. Well, you're not actually that far away from where I am here. I want to know what type of city, town, wilderness you're in. So it's not seven o'clock yet. Yeah, let's head in that direction. It's only 2.3 kilometers, which does sound like a long way, but when you're on this bike, with the supercharger and everything in. It's not that far at all. 
Right, this is going to be the main road that probably takes us to that town we've already seen in the desert. Yeah, it is. So we're on this main road here. There is a big mountain range next to me, so I'm actually going to go towards the desert slightly. Here we go. And on to these plains, and we'll go around that way. There we go. 900 meters. Well, of course she is. She's in the arse end of bloody nowhere. Just for a change. Right then, what have we got going on here? You got some zombies living with you? Who are you? Here's what I have. Oh, so that's Eve. Okay, well, we'll talk to you in a second. You got a bit more going on with your compound than Razor did. Right, so I could actually loot that as well. Fantastic. Right, it's good. Well, let's talk to you then, well, Eve the Mercenary. Best. Right, okay, well, I can get 155 9 mil. We're doing very, very well for 9 mil. It looks like I have a few errands you can run. The test. Right, what is this then? The test. 700 meters away, head to the smokehouse and kill all the zombies you find. Well, where's that? Show me on the map. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Let's get the first job for her done. That's It's already gone 7 o'clock, so it's probably going to be all she wrote for today. But we will we'll go and head in that direction and see how we get on. 700 metres shouldn't take too long if I could ever find my bike. Whoa! Not ideal. Right. <laughs> bike on fire again. <laughs> this is getting a little bit crazy now. Oh, go into the... There we go. Repair, repair. Right, uh, let's actually whack some stuff on you while we're, while we're at it. There we go. Um. Okay. Right, let's just get you started. Kill all the zombies we find. Well, that's alright, I can do that. Cool, lightning fast reactions cracking. Thank you. You guys part of the PYO or what? What's going on here? Let's get inside here. Get the mushrooms. Cool. You're doing all right today, old cracks. Big mama's in the house. Okay, two more in there. Come on out to me. Let's dance. Right, there's another guy there. Lumberjack garden is wood and talk to trader. Simple. Well, we're going to take the road back anyway. So we need to go and, we'll go and hand that in. See if she actually gives us a reward this time. I'm sure she will. I don't know how many jobs we're going to have to do. Actually, a better baseball bat than mine. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we'll put those together later on. Pause the head book. More nine mil, so we we'll, uh, we might get away with not even having to make any nine mil at this rate. Fantastic. Anything else for us more in here? Just some basic bits. There we go. Right, I'll sort myself out, and then we'll get back to Eve. Ooh, looks like we've got some friends here. Right, it is already 10 o'clock. So everyone is running. Right, how do we get into you? Can we go this way? No, you're locked. Not going to bother trying to unlock you, especially when it's 10 o'clock at night. I think I just ran past a goat or something as well. Lots of random things in this mod. Eve, how the devil are you? Here's what I have. 
Well, there we go. Uh, steel arrows. Okay, well, that buggers me up a little bit. I've already got a rad remover. But I could put a rad remover on one of my guns. Yeah. Let's um, do that. Do you have any more jobs? Quest favour. Clear out the sleepers. And where is that? On the map. So that's to the town over there. Right, I'm actually going to get back to this road over here and take this road all the way back home. Guys, that's what I'm going to leave you for this episode because it is already 10 o'clock at night. By the time I get home, I'll have time to do a couple of things and then I'll be getting straight back to it. Big thumbs up on the video. As always, you have a cracking day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.